What's going on YouTube? It's Casual Yugi Stuff here, back bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening video. And uh, I don't know how we've done it, but we've managed to find some more incredible Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds first edition packs to be opened. Now recently I opened an Ancient Fairy Dragon Tin and a Power Tool Dragon Tin, which contained first edition Crimson Crisis and first edition Ancient Prophecy packs. And now we have 10 first edition Raging Battle Blister packs which we will be cracking open here together on the channel i'm very very excited for it um and hopefully get some amazing ultimate rares which is obviously what we're going for because i love ultimate rares it's my favorite rarity secret rares ultras and of course the ghost power tool dragon which if you're a new viewer of mine you probably haven't seen the video where i actually managed to get the ghost rare power tool dragon i'm not bluffing guys check back my previous videos and you'll see that we managed to get it. So I'm excited for this one. If you are excited guys and you're a new subscriber, please consider sticking around by supporting the channel and subscribing. Um, and leave a comment down below. And if this video gets 111, so 111 likes, I will be giving away quite a good giveaway for this one guys. I'm giving away a pack of Extreme Victory Unlimited European pack. Um, for, for the winner, as well as these three cards from Hidden Arsenal, keeping it 5D's theme. Flamvel Magician, Gishki Ziel Gigas, Secret Rare, and Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier, guys. These are the cards I'll be giving away, as well as the sealed product for those sealed collectors out there that I know there are quite a few of you. Um, all you need to do is leave a comment down below, like the video, and be a subscriber of mine to enter the giveaway. As simple as that. And, uh, and yeah, guys, I choose the giveaway winners every Friday um, after the video was released, so that same following Friday, and I announce it on my YouTube um, studio uh, community post as well as the um, Instagram story. So follow me on Instagram, link down below. And just before we get into the opening, guys, I know I've been doing a lot of talking, I just want to advertise the 2,000 subscriber opening i say this every video like i know you guys do you must be getting bored of it but maybe not maybe you're excited because we're gonna open this 36 pack box um Phronic guardian hunting down the hollows by scaling out the uh, the heavy first edition packs first edition baby let's do it Phronic guardian put the box down for a second and actually finally get into opening uh, apologies for the delay but here we go raging battle i want to enjoy this opening as it's an expensive one each blister of these they used to be about like $8 on eBay, but recently they've just skyrocketed up in price. I luckily managed to pick up a few when they were cheap. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get cracking into the blisters. Oh, it's such a shame <laughs> to crack them open when you want to get those um, Earthbound Immortals. That's a card which I would really love to get in Ultimate Rare. Asila Piscu or Kakapakapu. Um, yeah, so those are the cards we're hunting for together, guys, in the video. Let's see if we can get an ulti. Would be amazing. Okay, so first pack. Here we go. We're going to crack it open and see what we can get from the blisters. Okay, and this first pack has come with a white protector on the back. I think it's for theft proof. So we'll just put that down briefly and get into the rest of the pack. We have a black wing Kalut, the moon shadow, level returner, emissary from pandemonium. A Phoenixian Seed and a Blackwing Blizzard of the Far North. So, just a rare out of our first blister, guys. Proof of Powerlessness, Minna Sentinel, and Gigastone Omega. There's some really good rares in this set as well. So, you have cards like Ajama Country, which are like $15, $20. You've got the Ajama Red, Ajama Blue, and then you've also got a few other uh, nice rares in here as well, like the Blackwing. So, Blizzard of the Far North. I remember when it first came out, it was a massive card. It even got limited to one, I think, quite quickly because Blackwing Duelists, like Crow Hogan, abused its effect and being able to special summon from the grave was an easy synchro summon uh, support mechanic. So that was really cool. I remember dueling with Blackwings back in the day. Should we get a pack quiz for this one, guys? Mmm, smells good. Raging battle. So this set came out in 2009. It was the... I believe it was the fourth Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D set. Again with us. Uh, theft proof uh, card there. So then we have a Overdoom line. Hedge Guard. Blackwing Kalut the Moon Shadow. Uh, level Returner and a Brain Golem. Actually a card which was quite used as well back in the day in competitive play against light monsters. It was quite good. Bone Temple Block. Master Gig. Attack of the Cornered Rat and Morphtronic Repair Unit. 
So 0 for 2 so far guys, so so far so bad, but I'm going to keep going and let's see if we can get something good out of this next booster. Fingers crossed that we can. Alright. Blister number three, everybody. I hope you're all keeping it casual today. Cracking open some Yu-Gi-Oh, having some fun. So, another one of those theft proof cards. Uh, we got a Hedge Guard. Mind Trust with Dark Ruler Highness and Dark Resonator. Tuna Capture, Junk Box, and Snowman Eater. So, ooh, Vanguard of the Dragon, cool Duel Links card, but nothing out of that pack, unfortunately. Okay, over three. We want to take a little step back and see what's going on here. So, over three so far. Let's switch it up and go from the left hand side um, of the blisters. Okie dokie. Let's see what we can do. Raging Battle has been a set which has loved us recently. We've got so many good pulls. We've got Forbidden Chalice Ultimate Rare. We've got Ghost Rare. We've got some Secret Rares in the past as well. So, let's really hope that we can get something good. Okay, this uh, pack doesn't have the theft proof card in, which is really weird. Hmm, wonder what that means. Level Returner, Wonder Clover, Tuna Capture, Miracle Lotus, and Emperor Sem. So, nothing out of that one, unfortunately, guys. Either. 0 for 4. It's not looking good. We're burning our money away here with the uh, first edition Ancient um, Raging Battle, sorry. But let's see if this one will turn it around for us. Okay, so, pack number five. Ooh, I think this one has the, yeah, this one has the white thing in, in it as well. So we'll just take that out for the time being and see what this pack can bring us. Thorn of Malice, Black Whirlwind, Blackwing Kalute, the Moon Shadow, Crimson Fire, and Moja. So, nothing out of this pack either. Ooh, gotta start enjoying it. Even though we're not getting any any hollows, we try our best to enjoy the opening. Because there's always a chance that we will get something. Remember, we have had a lot of luck on the channel, and we can't get complacent. We can't always hope for ultimate rares and ghost rares and, and so on. Even though I know you're used to seeing me pull amazing stuff, guys, I hope the tough uh, openings, like so far this one, um, you don't be downhearted and and not enjoy it, even though we don't get some good pulls. Because it's not every day you get to see 10 first edition Raging Battle being opened. Okay, this one also has the card on the back. So we'll put that down. Then we go for a Rose Tentacles, Fake Feather, Morphtronic Videon, Thorn of Malice, and a Blackwing Blizzard the Far North. So, six packs in and we haven't got anything. What is going on? Come on, we need to be saved by these last four packs. We really do. Ooh, okay, here goes nothing guys. Here goes nothing. Okay. Right. Let's see what this pack can bring us. Should we give it a kiss? I think we should give it a kiss. The lucky kiss. We can destroy this pack. My bad. Blackwing uh, Shura, the blue flame. Junk Box, Rose Tentacles, and a Quacky Meru Power Hand. So we finally managed to get a Super Rare, guys. And Quacky Meru Ice, so that's uh, quite relevant. Double of Quacky Merus, and a couple of Quacky Meru Magic and Traps as well. So we'll sleeve up our Quacky Meru Power Hand with 2100 attack and 1600 defense. So we finally managed to break our streak and get a Hollow. I've seen a few YouTubers open these first edition Raging Battle and they've uh, blister packs, and they've been really all over the place like I've seen I think Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh opened some of these I don't know if you're aware of Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh guys but he also has a YouTube channel and he opened some of these for his friend and uh, and managed to get average pulls like nothing more than an ultra uh, I don't think but we've got to live up to our name and get an ultimate round okay so we have a Thorn of Malice again Black Whirlwind, Blackwing Kalut, the Moon Shadow, and a Quacky Meru Val Far. So it's a Quacky Meru day today, apparently. This one's really OC, top to bottom and left to right. That's pretty cool. It's a nice card, this one. Really fiery. Um, Spell of Pain, which is a good, good rare. Um, but yeah, back to back colors now, guys. So thankfully, we are turning around the table. Um, 
and getting some hollows. And they're both Quacky Meru cards. The Quacky Meru archetype has so many different cards and so much support, but never really took off, did it? Kind of unfortunate. But I'll put those two down there for the time being. And then open the second to last blister pack. I love how the backs of these are all different. Okay, these ones are the same, but that was a bad example. But they're really cool, and it basically taught you how to play with the cards inside of the uh, of the blister pack, which is cool. So, let's see. In our last two packs, we can get anything good. One second. Okay. The concentration levels are on. Let's see if we can get another holo out of these next two packs. That would be sweet. Okay. Phoenixian Seed. Gadget Arms. Morphtronic Scopin. Here it goes, guys. Ooh, black wing armored wing. So black wing armed wing. So we got triple super rares, guys. That's really, really good. Three super rares in a row. I'll take that. Obviously, making up to the pools that we didn't get earlier. Iron core of Quacky Meru um, and some other cards. These cards always come together. So we've got a black wing armed wing. Black wing armed wing. Sorry. Uh, classic black wing card, which is nice. So three super rares. Not terrible. It's looking to. Uh, to be a bit better than when we first started, so let's leave off our black uh, armed wing, black wing armed wing, and put them down. So we're down to our last pack of the opening, guys. Smash the like button, give us your luck. Can we get an ult? Well, I'm gonna say ultra rare at this stage because we haven't got an ulti. I don't know if we will get an ulti, but I hope this last pack can bring us some fire for the opening stage because it's been an average opening so far, but I want it to be an epic or amazing or godly opening. So down to my last pack, Raging Battle, first edition pack. Ooh, let's see. Morphtronic Vidion, Thorn of Malice, Crimson Fire, and here goes guys. It's a Hedge Guard and Iron Core of Quacky Meru. So we ended on a rare, unfortunately, guys. We managed to get three super rares, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time. I have all of this content for you to be opening stuff. I don't want to keep stuff sealed that I don't see necessary. Like, there's no point in keeping blister packs sealed, in my, in my opinion. Um, so I'm really happy that we managed to open these and get some hollows. And um, yeah, just have a bit of a roller coaster ride. We started off bad, then we got three um, super rare hollows in a row, which is cool. And, uh, and yeah, guys, it was a fun video. But make sure, if you enjoyed it, to leave a like. Comment down below to be in with a chance to win the giveaway prize, which is an actual sealed pack of Extreme Victory, the last Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D set, and three other hollows if you want these leave a comment it doesn't have to be related to the video any comment will do and i'll choose a uh, random one lucky winner so guys thank you so much for watching this was casual yugi stuff make sure to catch me in the next video keep it casual as per usual and i hope you enjoyed catch you later guys bye for now